line. Three days of national mourning are declared in Turkey after bombings at a peace rally kill at least 86 people and injure nearly 200 more. Stay with that uh, story. Uh, we can speak to the BBC Turkey specialist Guna Yildiz, uh, who's alongside me now. Nobody's claimed responsibility, a period of great uncertainty for the country ahead of these elections. Who are the main suspects? Well, according to Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu, he, he cited Islamic State, PKK, and the left wing uh, Revolutionary People's Party uh, Front. But the previous two attacks were linked by the government to uh, IS. And it, it depends, and it, it, the first, this is the latest and the most uh, lethal, uh, bloodiest attack on Kurds and uh, left wing people since the uh, last five months. The first attack was in Diyarbakir, the main Kurdish city, targeted the pro Kurdish rally. The second attack was in Suruç, in Turkish border with Syria, targeting left wing groups supporting uh, Kurds. And the second attack, the PKK, Kurdish rebels, uh, responded to that by a kind of abandoning the peace process, attacking uh, Turkish uh, police officers because they, uh, like today, the pro-Kurdish party and the Kurdish uh, parties put the blame squarely on, on the government, whereas the government is trying to uh, say that they're trying their best. But the PKK has declared a ceasefire after today's explosions. Exactly. They? That ceasefire was expected. Uh, it, it was hinted by the PKK leaders two, two days ago. But they went ahead with it, uh, despite this uh, uh, attack. They wouldn't... Um, uh, I mean, it's, it's not... Uh, the, there has, PKK always uh, declared ceasefire, and they say that this is not a ceasefire, but end of hostilities, unilateral end of hostilities. Uh, the PKK always declared ceasefires in, during elections. Uh, in Turkey since 1993. So they would uh, assume uh, going into elections with a ceasefire would help the pro Kurdish Peace uh, uh, and uh, Democracy Party to get uh, better votes in the uh, elections. So, uh, higher, higher voter uh, uh, turnout. Is there a risk, though, that these elections could be? postponed if we see more attacks and more instability? That's certainly a possibility. Uh, some people uh, you know, were suggesting how can we hold elections when th there is th this uh, fighting with the PKK, with people in some uh, towns and uh, neighbourhoods taking up arms and declaring autonomy against the Turkish state. You cannot put uh, ballot boxes there. And, uh, but some uh, other people, especially Kurds and uh, people in today's demonstrations, are saying that the government is resorting to violence specifically be in order to uh, prop up their votes by uh, appealing to nationalism and uh, pushing the pro-Kurdish party below the 10% threshold which will help the uh, ruling out party to get many more seats in the parliament. Okay, all right, uh, Gulen, thank you very much indeed uh, for that analysis.